You have been numerous to subscribe to the channel lately. I'm grateful to that. I'm quite happy to see that how the some people love this content I spend long hours making. If you are new to the channel and would like to see some more, consider subscribing. Hey YouTube family and welcome to Design Africa. The place to be, the channel where we contribute to make graphic design fun with a little bit of art from Africa. I'm Foldy Ongwa. Have you ever wondered how to make passive incomes with your graphic design skills? How to use your Photoshop skills in order to make you land your first sale? Don't worry, you're on the right channel. There have been trends on social media that show taunting ideas that gather a huge variety of skills that can help you grow in your creative career or desire to learn basics, advanced techniques in graphic design. I guess coronavirus taught us about the importance of passive incomes. Today's video will show you how to create an attractive, trendy concept that will blow your imagination with tons of tips to learn in Adobe Photoshop. You will also learn how to make a selection of objects, backgrounds, and how to convert this object to smart objects how to apply layer mask to master your masking techniques. And at the end of this video, you'll know how to use these objects combined to various tricks to create outstanding design that you can sell on website as Creative Market, Envato Market, Freepik, and so on. So when you're ready, just jump in and let's begin. As you can see, I've already started uh, opening our images. Today we'll be working with uh, this image and this second image. Uh, these both images have been downloaded from uh, uh, a premium account on Freepik. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below. It will allow you to follow the process and you can download these same images or uh, similar images to match your style. For the purpose of this video, as I was saying in the uh, introduction to the video, we'll be making like uh, a trendy style that people have been using on their Instagram pages or on any post concerning advertising or uh, concerning the treatment of their images to make it appeal nice and uh, in order to make like passive incomes. This video will help you. It will not just be a process where you learn a design technique, how to use the, how to mask your images or how to, how to mask your images with this one or how to convert images to smart objects and work with uh, image cleanup. It will allow you, it will empower you, if I can say it like that, it will empower you to have the nice skills for you to, to create some nice design, some nice mask masking in Photoshop. And uh, let's begin. We can just begin with this image. We just unlock it and we can duplicate this image. You can just pull it and drag it to the plus icon here to create a new layer. Or you can just press the shortcut command plus J. It will allow you to duplicate. So once we duplicate it, we can just uh, switch off this one. We can keep this one and duplicate it again, command J. We, we can, uh, once, uh, no, let's revert back. We'll uh, first create everything. Uh, we'll make a selection of the white area here uh, because it will allow us with uh, the selection of uh, our subject there. So to do that, I have an easy skill or a easy tip I like to use. You come to the, you come to your selection rectangular marquee tool here. 
you make like it depends on you you make a, a small rectangle a square or any kind of shapes you want and you come to select and then you scroll down to similar usually what it does it does and select like the kind of similar images or or shapes you actually want depending on the color you can see that we have selected the white screen here but it also took the background and part of the shadows so what we can do you can just come to either your lasso tool or to your quick selection tool once you come to your quick selection tool you you just have to to press the option or alt option on mac or alt on uh, windows and then you just deselect what you don't need you can see that you have almost eliminated the outside area of uh, of our selection and you also just decrease with the brackets you just decrease the size of it and you press your alt button and do it for the outside as you can see we can zoom in it did quite a nice selection it did quite a nice selection and if you want to avoid having like uh, white lines with your selection here we can just come to select and then we say modify and then we'll go to expand once we go to expand you will have your expand selection that will appear uh, sorry it just came to my second screen here S and uh, you you can see that if we apply some pixel here it will actually expand if we don't apply pix expand selection it will be like that and select a bit of the of the white white part so if we expand it, we don't have to expand it too much by three pixels. It will come somewhere here. We just have to say, let's say one pixel, we expand. Or maybe let's revert back by pressing Command or Control Z. Let's say we'll expand it by two pixels. Okay, if we zoom in, you can see that it actually went into the, the the dark area the black area and it will not really uh, give us a white outline when we we'll, uh, make the selection with the image once that done you just come and create a layer mask and once you are on the layer mask here you you keep your colors on black and then you just clean up everything. You clean up everything. You clean up, you clean up. But there are too many, there are a lot of ways to achieve that. And sometimes you, you don't even have to bother about cleaning up cleaning up because it will be like a perfect selection and uh, once that done once that done as uh, we're doing previously you can just duplicate you can just duplicate this layer by pressing command j or by dragging up here once you've done that we have two selection this one you convert it to a smart object and in order to convert it to a smart object you have to go to right click and then you scroll down and then you go to convert smart object you will see that the the layer mask will disappear completely so uh, once we've done making it uh, a smart object we have to make a selection of the whole phone here in order to make the selection of the whole phone you have to come to your object selection tool and make it like a quick selection 
So what you have to do, you have to create a rectangle around our object. You have to give it enough depth of pixels here. And then you'll see that it will make like quite close to a perfect selection of our cell phone here. You can see like more pixels have been taken and uh, it's quite a nice selection. This one, uh, you can leave it like that. It's, it doesn't really uh, affect much, but if you want, you can take your lasso tool. You come and take your lasso tool or you just have to press the letter L. You take your lasso tool and you press down as usual, Alt or Option on Mac. And then you go towards the area you don't need and bam, voila. You can see, you can see what it did. Once that done, we have uh, achieved like quite a good start of our image. You also have to do the same thing. You have to apply a layer mask. You have to apply a new uh, layer mask. When you apply the layer mask, you can see that uh, most of our background just disappear. It's just like, uh, just like a cleaner image. We have like the cell phone and we have like already selected the inside of our cell phone. So once we've done that, you can just do the same, right click and convert the phone to smart objects. So we have our original image with its background. It will also indicate us how we'll have to create a nice shape of uh, shadow here, but that will be for later because we'll be redoing like a background for our image and we'll be like uh, doing uh, everything with other colors. So once we've done that, you can see that our selection is like, we have achieved like the minimum of what we were supposed to do. At this point, we have completed half, we are halfway from the completion of, uh, completion of our work. And then we can go to our image. Once we are on our image, we can do the same, but knowing that we'll be working on this image around the cell phone here, we can either create like smart objects or we can just leave it like that because we'll be working with the pixels and everything. So what we have to do, you can keep the image as it is, but you can also, you can, if you want, you can also crop it. You can also crop it. So let's select our image. Once we select our image, we have to take it to the other background. We can work from here. We can work from here and make all of our selection, but to have more control about the image and uh, the place where we'll be using it, my best advice is to take the image and copy it to the other selection. So you can see we have already made a selection and it's in here that this image will fit in. But in order to do so, let's reduce the opacity here. Let's say something around 50. We have to take that image on top and we have to like, uh, transform this image because it doesn't look the way we actually want to use it. It will look like that there, but it's not the way we want to use it. We'll press command plus T or control T on the Mac to make a selection. And then you just have to, to drag it. You can press Alt in order to make it like just in the phone in the in the middle once you you've done that you just have to do your right click you toggle down you go down to the flip horizontal once you're on the flip horizontal you make it like a proper dimension that you know that it will fit into what 
what you actually want to achieve with the image. We, we want to achieve something where we'll see some, some of our model, our model here, where it will be able to see her in the phone and outside the phone with the legs like going, passing by the, the front uh, boundaries here. And we'll see, we'll have her arm and legs like out, outside of the frame. So it will be like, this part will be in the phone and this part will be outside accepted that we won't have the rocks or the mountain the hill here we don't have this part we will just have the legs and everything so once it's like that once it's like that my advice is to create a new layer let's let let's do it like that we'll create a new layer let's uh, validate here okay we'll create a new layer so you just press plus here you create a new layer once you are once you are on a new layer you can just say okay let's take our brush by pressing b we take the brush we come on our image and we'll make like uh, like some kind of marks on our image. It will be the way we'll be working on the image to say that, okay, this is where you will have to make the selection. So you come and you select the lines. You turn around and we say, okay, that will be the part that we'll need to work on. That will be the part where we'll have to work on. So this part will be in the phone and this one will be outside. And we have to make the selection around our image. We have to make the selection. We'll uh, use my one of my favorite tools. We'll use the pen tool to have more control. The only problem with the pen tool, if I can increase the opacity here. Yeah? The only problem with the pen tool will be that we lose that kind of natural effects that of hair that we have here because the selection will be done around here yeah? and we lose this this area but we'll uh, we'll keep this one and we'll have to clean it up properly inside here. Yeah? So let's revert our layer to 50 as you can for so you can see. So once we've done that, this, this was done as a, as a way for us to, to know how this one will come out. We can either select both our layers, we select both our layers and bring them back to the middle of the screen. So you don't have to work and be around the corner here exactly. You know that you can stay on the image and just hide the phone here. Yeah. So you know where you'll have to go, how you'll start working with the pen tool and everything. Once you've done that, let's hide this one. Let's revert our layer to 50%. We already know where which area we have to, to work on. And let's reduce this one to let's say 30 percent is enough and uh, let's save our document we have the the second one here let's save our document so now that we have both our images here we have to make the selection let's take the pen tool once you have taken our pen tool, we'll go around it. You can zoom in this image. I made sure to, to make it like kind of high resolution, like around 300 DPI or pixels. In order to do that, it's when you open your image, for example, like that, you come to image, you toggle down to image size, 
once you toggle down to image size you you will see all the information about your image and uh, about the pixel original size and then you just change your your resolution here yeah? and it will affect the width and height of the overall image but you can also untick here and then you'll be okay so once you do that you see that you have like a perfect image good for print we have a good image good for print okay let's make our selection we have to select our model and once we select our model we have to also make sure that everything is well done well cleaned up and you can see that we'll have to work inside here we'll have to work from outside there but you don't have to work and uh, select everything you can just select the subject and later you can erase with a brush or any kind of of uh, selection tool you want okay enough talking let's start let's start here let's zoom in we make a selection around the hair here you go around the head you follow nicely
as you can see here, we'll have an issue. We'll have an issue because the line will uh, will uh, will cross. So we'll have to to turn by here, and later we'll use like a layer mask and uh, everything to and brushes to return this side. Or we'll have to make a dupl some more duplicates about the image. So let's uh, let's. Uh, Let's do that. Return, come around here. We come back to the middle, and then we close our path. We close the selection, and we can uh, bring it around here. Play around this, and say, "Okay, close." Once we've done, we can come to the hour paths here. You can see the paths are just there. You just have to rename your path in order for you to, uh, to save it. Let's rename it. Uh, let's call it around. model and you say okay once you've done that it will save your your path it will save your path so if we want to retrieve this image later it will allow us we'll just have to come to paths and uh, load the selection so once we've done that we can just load the selection we have made a perfect selection and uh, once we've done this selection, we can come to our layers here. We duplicate, we have to make some duplicates because remember we have like, we came around, around the image here, so later we'll have to turn it back. And uh, let's make it like a third copy and then switch off this one as our original. Once we have done the selection, we can just uh, take our selection tool and see how how the, the max mask will come up here. So if I switch it off, you can see that we have our, our selection that I was talking about here, which has been perfectly made. We'll have like a lot of work, a lot of job to do. So let's revert back here and uh, let's say, that we have to treat our image here. We have to treat the image because we don't really need these flowers to appear on our legs because uh, for the, 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 the final video, this, we don't see any, we see some of the, the plants, but we don't see them. We don't see them. We, we can keep them, but we can also treat them. So you have to come to your image you zoom in, you zoom in, and you take your lasso tool. Let's say we take the lasso tool here, and we select this small area. You come to edit, you scroll down to fill. When you scroll down to fill, you'll have the, the fill menu. Once the fill menu appears you just have to leave it to content away and then you say okay you see it is appeared you press command d to deselect and then you do the same to the shadow area
command D to deselect, you have made quite a nice selection. You can see that uh, we can assume that this is maybe a the, let's say pattern or we can see that it's uh, the, the flower but it, it won't be that much visible so let's continue to clean up let's uh, make it disappear we'll move towards the inside of our image let's take back our pen tool we select here And uh, you move inside the calf here. Once we have done the selection, uh, I don't, I'm not really sure if we need this, but we can still maybe save it. Let's say curve, and then we save it, we load it, and then we go to our layer mask. And uh, once we are on our layer mask, you have to make sure that you are on white, and then you just say delete. And then you save the selection, you deselect by pressing Ctrl or Command D. And let's zoom in back and see, it did, it did quite well. Mm, I don't know what's this, maybe the plant. As you can see, we have already done our selection and everything starts to appear nice. But we still have this trouble with uh, this area because we have like selected outside, we have selected the old phone. You can see that that's the area where the, the black lines are going. So what we can do is to use the, the brush, the brush tool, we can use the brush tool and we can say, okay, let's load the inside. And uh, we have to come to, to this, this mask and let's say we can hide the phone as well. And we have to delete this area. We don't really need this area, but you can see that we have like some selection around here. This selection is the one making us uh, having trouble. You can see that they just here. So we just have to press uh, option or alt and then delete them 
Once you have deleted them, we'll be able to remove this area. And you can see that it also come around the half here. There's uh, a bit of uh, problem of our selection here, but that will be okay. It won't be that that visible. So we just have to check properly at our image and see. And I can see that uh, here, that's done. So now, now that we've done that, we can uh, go back to to our eraser tool and we take the eraser tool you will see that if you you use the with the white it moves the the delete the inside if you bring it to the blacks it does it, it doesn't use anything but you have to hide everything and let's say command shift high to make the outside selection and bring the white on top. So when you bring the white on top, we can bring back our legs here. We bring the white on top, we reduce the eraser and make a perfect selection and raise here. Uh, we can start working with the background now. We can start working with the background. What we'll do, we'll create a new layer. Or let's say we'll create a new solid color. And let's say we'll bring back our swatches and we take a kind of this kind of uh, pink. And remember when we're working on the image here, when we're working on the image here, let's say the color pick appears. Uh, let's say we hide here and we bring back our original image. We can see that we have like some shadows here. We can copy these shadows. Let's create our layer here. In order to go faster, we'll take the lasso tool and we'll go around here. Turn around. Yeah. And go like that. And like that. So what you have to do, uh, we'll uh, go to the grays or maybe just apply some black here. And let's say turn it to black. We deselect, you have to come to your filter and say blur and say Gaussian blur. And then when you apply your Gaussian blur, you'll have your menu 
Gaussian blur appearing to your screen. In my case, it did appear as usual on the other screen. And then you just say, okay, let's say 100% and let's reduce our opacity, not to zero. Let's reduce our opacity around 20%. And then let's bring back our color and bring it on top here. And as you can see, our opacity and uh, our shadow just came back. And uh, we have completed our image. Later, we can uh, play with some type. We have completed our image like uh, there's uh, Now that we have completed our image, we can select everything, all our layers. And uh, maybe bring it like, like more, bring the phone more centered and uh, hide what's not needed. The cell phone can stay, the inside can disappear, this one can disappear, this image can disappear. And uh, we still have the mask of uh, these layers. We can delete them. We take the brush, increase the size. Okay, so that's done. We have completed our video of the day. We can just save what we have done. And uh, later we'll be able to bring some lights because it's a bit floating here. We'll be able to bring some light coming from behind. We can also like uh, work on our image. Let's say if we have to uh, to say, okay, let's bring some brightness. Let's bring some brightness and uh, make a clipping mask here. So if we bring some brightness and contrast, we zoom into our image and see what is affected. We can say, okay, maybe around 35, 35, yeah. 35 and 10. Thirty-five and 10. And make sure that it does affect uh, the whole image. That we actually clipped it. So let's duplicate this one and bring it here and clip it. And bring it again here and clip everything. So you can see that uh, we also clip it. We have a nice, we can just let it reduce.
let's bring it around 9 15 and 10 14 10 let's say 14 10 to have it like being consistent uh, let's say 14 10. and yes uh, thank you for t tuning in this is uh, uh, what we are to do for the day you can see that if you go to the majority of places stock images where they sell like images of design you can read like we can find this kind of images and uh, in this uh, video we made sure for you to to learn how these tools are used so you can make some passive income for example if you are already a professional if you are still uh, studying if you are a student or if you are freelancing you can use like this same method to apply to your work with your different uh, creativity and uh, apply it uh, and sell those services so thank you for tuning in and hope you love this video